Avatar for us is an integrated robotic system in which you can think of it as transport or uber your senses, your sight, your hearing, and your touch, your action, your ability to go someplace, not just by FaceTime or Skype, but to actually go someplace and give someone a hug or help someone out of bed. We're, we've created our winning team statement as follows. The winning team will combine technologies to demonstrate a robotic avatar that can allow an untrained operator, very important, an untrained operator to complete a diverse series of tasks from simple to complex in a physical environment at least 100 kilometers away. At least. Eventually, as we deal with speed of light delays, we'll extend it even further. But for us, this is the initial version of an avatar. It's going to challenge people across the world. We don't specify what technology they should use or what it should look like. The diversity, the imagination, the ability to have hundreds of different ideas is critically important to us. So what are the uses of these avatars? Well. The first, and perhaps the most immediate, is for disaster relief. We talk about the Fukushima nuclear reactor. Imagine being able to put not just a robot driven by an AI, but a robot driven by a scientist or engineer who needs to go into the Fukushima uh, facility and turn the knob and, and figure out how to shut things down, how to save lives from a distance. Or that specialist doctor who knows how to cure you or create surgery on you, whatever it might be. We imagine avatars will be available for special purpose use. I mean, for me, it may be someone who wants to come in and fish my, you know, fix my dishwasher, but it might be someone coming in and, and fixing critical uh, technology at your, in your office. And instead of waiting for someone to you know, get there by the end of the day, they can beam in from the other side of the country or eventually the other side of the world to be there when it's available. It's about dislocating the knowledge from the physical location of action. A third use ultimately is personal care. And this is what drives all of our actions, to be able to help someone you care about in a moment of need. Someone who might live on the other side of the planet, an aging mother or father that need to help get out of bed, or help them find what they need. But it's a way of when location gets in the way of helping someone, you can take action right then and there.